Today we're having a look at another structural analysis plugin called Alpaca 4D. It's still early in the development according to the documentation, but there is a lot of potential for this one given the technology under the hood. We'll show how to get bending moment and force diagrams on this simple portal frame and also get a deformed model. And remember you can get a lot more parametric tutorials at our website structuredparametrics.com There's quite a lot there and there's also scripts you can download as well for free. Under visualization it's got view model. And we can just plug the pure alpaca model before it's solved into this visualization. Now you can see when I click on it, it highlights it, so <clears throat> you can see the components. But we can show even more information. For example, I can turn on the supports, so you can see I've got pins here, which is what I wanted. You can also toggle on the 3D render. So I was using circular hollows and you can see that here. <clears throat> so that's a pretty good visualization. Okay, so let's get this thing running. I still need settings to run the analysis. So if I go to analysis settings here under analysis, analysis settings, I'll just move some of this. I need to plug that into there and this needs analysis steps. So again, if I go to analysis, analysis steps and put that into there. So again, going backwards, I need number of increments. So I'm going to say 10 increments and that's the minimum you need. So you can obviously change all this stuff, different solvers and things like that, but this is just to get you up and running and then it's pretty easy to play around with things after that. So we've now got a solved model, although there is no loads in there at the moment. So let's just put a load in there quickly. I've got gravity load and point load. <clears throat> I'm going to select both of them. For the moment I'm just going to put a gravity load in there and I'll come back to the point load later. Okay so now we've got a model it's run and it's got loads in it. So let's have a look at the deformed model. Under visualization it's got deformed model. Click on that. And you can see under gravity that those lines there are deformed model. Again with alpaca you can turn on an extruded model. So that's my extruded model. So if I turn off the analysis uh, the visualization of the original model. <clears throat> you can see how it's deformed under gravity. You can obviously scale this and various other options. I also want to have a look at the forces. So that's BFD, beam force diagrams. Plug the solved model in. I'll just turn off the deformed model for the moment and you can set the type. So <clears throat> at the moment it's set to zero. I'll just turn the preview on. 
and that's N. So you can see there is a little bit of axial force. Now I'm going to put some scale to that. I'm going to put 0 0.1. And then you can see the axial force in some of those members. Now the other types you can show is moment and torsion. So if I go to 1, you can see as this roof tries to move downwards, as per the deformed model, it's trying to bend out these columns. And the highest moment's at the top, and almost zero at the bottom where we've got a pin. So that makes sense. Now you might think, why, haven't, why ha can't I see moment in these rafters, which you should see. And that's because we've got to look at it in the other direction. So the moment's there, but it's in the other direction. So M2 is around axis 2, and M1 is around axis 1. So 1 and 3. So if I change this to 3, there you can see the moment in the rafter. So the classic portal frame of no moment at the bottom, big moment at the top of the column, transfers directly into a big moment in the edge of the rafter, transitions to zero in the middle, or roughly in the middle, and then you've got a big moment at the peak, as you would expect, and the mirror on the other side. So that all makes sense to me under gravity loads. So that's how quick it is to get up and running with some simple analysis in Alpaca and how it works. I will now show a couple of quick other things you can do with it. Although it is worth mentioning that this is still early days in the plugin according to the documentation, so things are going to change. And at the moment there is a couple of um, funny things like a few little bugs here and there. So, But I expect that will be updated in the future and also there's a lot more capability coming in terms of the earthquake analysis and other things um, if they implement some of the, all of the stuff that open seas can do which is a lot so the first thing I'm going to do is put the point load in as I said before so if I just add a point and set multiple points as, as right in the middle there. Add that as the position. And what else do I need? I need a time series and a force. So time series is something that's really interesting about an open seas implementation because you can use constant, which is static analysis, you can use a linear time series, so the load changes over time linearly. Then you can use path and periodic. So the, a path time series might be an earthquake simulation. So the ground's shaking backwards and forwards at different magnitudes, and you can simulate that with that path time series. Periodic is a sine curve. So it varies over time, and that's useful for, that could be useful for wind analysis and other things where you've got vibration. So just to keep this simple, I'm just gonna use a constant, put that into time series. I'm gonna use my force in the X direction, so just type X and you get a unit X. To vary it though, I'm just gonna use a slider number slider, change it to maximum of 10 and then vary that X force start off at 1. Now I'm going to take the gravity load out and replace it with a point load and then you can see I've got some point load coming in here I'm trying to push this portal frame over you can see the effects there now one thing to note is I have to put a scale of 1 into this deformed model just so I can vary the force coming in. So you can see as I vary the force 
the effect gets bigger and bigger on that sway frame. Another thing I'll point out at the moment is the natural vibration analysis. So with an alpaca model, and if I apply a node, uh, a mode, say three modes, you can get the eigenvalues, the periods, and the natural frequencies of a system. So for structural engineers, that's really useful in terms of floors because there are a lot of situations where you need to know the natural vibration of a floor as people walk over it because it'll affect their perception of how bouncy the floor is and it can also lead to health outcomes. Uh, some people feel queasy if the floor is too springy or there's vibrations. It affects pe different people differently. You can also use it on bridges. So as trucks go over a bridge, you can have a look at the natural vibration. And you can also have a look at natural vibration in terms of wind setting up natural vibrations as well. So that's it for the quick overview. I might come back later and go into more detail in this plugin if people are interested or revisit it when there's an update. Thanks for watching this structured parametrics video. Leave a like or subscribe if you found this useful and we'll see you in the next one.